Angela said she was glad he died before the eoliths were proven to be no more than a bunch of rocks. One museum was so embarrassed, they dumped their entire collection in a lake. The epitaph on his tombstone is from Shakespeare's As You Like It. He found in life books in the running brooks, sermons and stones, and good in everything. This morning, I got an email from my brother's account with the subject heading, What's Up? I wasn't going to open it. It's like when I get an email from my parents. Obviously, the accounts have been hacked because they're dead. I had to remind myself my brother is still alive. I clicked on the email. He wrote, My hands are a little better, and I read a lot to keep busy. Maybe you can send me some books. Get back to me when you have a chance. We start a book club. He picks a book, then I pick a book, we write reviews. The first book he picked was about a female spy during the Second World War. She wanted to become a diplomat, but it wasn't a career that a woman, even a rich woman, could have in the 1930s. She lost a leg while hunting. Then she became a spy, masterminding parts of the resistance in occupied France, transmitting coded messages back to London. But she was found out. She escaped by climbing over the Pyrenees in the winter, dragging her wooden leg. She ended up in Lisbon, where it's been said that every foreigner in the city at the time was a spy. In Lisbon, there is a geographical society and a geological museum. Sometimes I mix them up. At the Geological Museum, pseudo-fossils are on display. The pattern is made by raindrops over the course of hundreds of thousands of years. At the Geographical Society, stone markers are on display. Sent back from the coast of Angola and from the mouth of the Congo River. The stone slabs were pre-inscribed in Lisbon and loaded onto the caravels, left behind when colonizers made landfall, claiming the land for the king. The stone markers are called Pedrao, translated into English as monument. The monument to the discoveries o Pedral dos Descobrimentos is perched at the edge of the river. <laughs> 